Alright, uh, it's a Monday morning and we are in, oh man, such extraordinary, glamorous company right now uh, with somebody who's been entertaining South African audiences, international audiences for over 40 years. Um, he's done so while also being a voice of reason, if you will, in so many instances where we've questioned ourselves as a nation. And now his entire career thus far is chronicled in a brand new memoir called The Echo of a Noise. And this, over and above the fact that he's very popular hit show, When in Doubt Say Darling, is also returning to Cape Town's Fugot Theatre. Ladies and gentlemen, Mzanzi Africa, wherever you are at home, let's give the warmest, biggest <laughs> round of applause and welcome to Peter Durkheim! <laughs> wow, yes. hello. Wow, good to have you back. So good That's to so have nice you with here you. Lackerman. Oh, wow. Listen, I was asking you earlier about the different books you've brought out mm. and Echo of a Noise. You said it's the first time it's your story. So what sets this this book apart? Well, you know, usually I love biographies, reading people's lives, because you want to find out how cleverly they lied. <laughs> <laughs> but usually I start on page 36, because between page 1 and page 35, it's childhood. And it's boring. Childhood, you know, you get your teeth, you get your first club. It's when you have your first <laughs> erection, then I want to actually read the story. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and so I... So, but this one didn't start as a memoir. It was a performance, a stage performance, a, 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 a story that I told the audience. And so there were so many stories that I couldn't fit into the 90 minute on stage. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, after 90 minutes, everybody wants to go to the toilet, you know what I mean? <laughs> so so this, was, this was an extension of that. And it just went through a wonderful catharsis of finding out who my parents were and who I was in those days and what the small signposts that changed my life. You know, two or three words. I'll give you an example. My mom used to drive us to the Astetford. Mm -hmm. yes, Tessie yes. would play the piano and I would sing. And my father always said, Yelmut Venwer, Yelmut Venne, Yapa, Yapa, Yelmut Venne. And then my mom would say, Now listen, have a wonderful time, enjoy it, love what you do. And remember, if you win, you get an ice cream. If you don't win, you get two ice creams. Aww. She didn't say lose. You see what oh, I mean? Wow. She didn't say lose. She said, If you don't win. And the whole point is these tiny moments that actually make you change direction in your life. So it has been, and of course, there are about 125 photographs as well. Because when you read, you also want to see the picture. In the theatre, the Yo, picture's in your mind, you yes. know. But, and it's been a great... And it's in Afrikaans as well. Uh, Echo of the Noise in English, Afrikaans. is Weerklink van der Wandklank. Oh, so like it's a... Rose van Tonga. yeah. <laughs> you know, th this is... When, when reading a book like this or a memoir like this, I always love looking at the pictures. And you said to me that this is your favourite picture. Do you know, it's a picture of my mum and my dad laughing together. It's in 1957 or 58. Um, we were in Hermanus for a holiday, and there they are. Pa is Karl Foot, Ma Plucky is on. They're both wearing shorts, and they are knoodled together in laughter. You know, I don't know what they were laughing at. I mean, I wished I knew because it looked such fun, and that's actually the key to, this, to the book. I want people to laugh, and they will cry. Yeah. And very often they see their own lives in my life. I give everybody a frame, and they put their picture into the frame. Oh, you know, I always thought that politics was everybody's cup of tea, but it's not. It's an acquired bad taste. It, re it really is. You know, but when it comes <laughs> we to all prefer to live without it. Really. I know. And when it comes to family and children and dreams and also that magical thing where a mother says to you, carry on, you won't ever lose, you will just win and it'll be exciting and it'll be lovely. As opposed to somebody saying, if you don't succeed, that's over. How wonderful you know, And today, is that? too many young people... Try something with excitement and somebody says, no, it didn't work, boom. Yeah. Please, failure is the paving stone to the, to the monument of success. You have to make mistakes in order to be relatively perfect. You never become perfectly perfect, except for Desmond yeah. Tutu. But, um, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it's an inspiration to me and I hope to many people to realise that there is life at the end of the tunnel and light. Life and life. I Listen, love that. Listen, uh, there, there, there's so much that I want to talk to you about with regards to the book and, uh, you know, all the different highlights and the beautiful pictures we're seeing. Kijk hier so for Peter Kie Eis, wat sing terwijl sy ma om begin lei. Kijk, net, net voor die eis stedt vir daar achter daar die backstage. Daar is en ek sing, oh, ek het een hoog stemmetje gehad. Okay. You know, Sopraan. Ah, oh, boy, Sopraan. My voice wouldn't break. I used to shout at myself in the mirror, break your pluck some <laughs> I wanted to be a big boy, I wanted to have long trousers, and everybody said, my passing, you must cut the brook drop. I thought my voice would break if I wore long pants. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, so here's, here it is. Um, if you are a fan of Peter <laughs> Dirk Ace, uh, we've got some very exciting news for you because you could stand a chance of winning uh, double tickets to a performance of When in Doubt, Say Darling. And all you need to do is answer this very simple question. Please relay the question That's to right. us. That's right. Who is Peter Dirk Ace's most iconic and beloved character. Now, SMS the keyword win with your answer, your name and your city to 33728. There are three sets of double tickets up for grabs and the winner will be drawn um, Will be drawn first. We'll also win a signed copy of Peter Dirk Ace's latest memoir. The competition, it is limited to Cape Town only and those free SMSs, they do not apply, but we do have T's and C's. They apply and you can find them at Expresso Show. Com. Make sure you stay tuned. We have more with Peter Dirk Ace a little bit later on. <laughs> <laughs>
and I must give them something to remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah. And then Wednesday will be another top, top of the class. It's like you say to a parent, who's your favorite child? <laughs> you can't you say can't. that. You, you can't. Know? But really, truly, I think my extraordinary uh, discovery that Evita Besaidnet was created for one reason, and that was to make Nelson Mandela laugh. Wow. Yeah. And wow. that was just so good. Listen, can I just quickly also just have a look at this quickly? Get a, get a grab of that picture there. Evita in Cyril Ramaphosa, Funk Fish in the Own Nur Dance Fall. We could feel it. Evita and Cyril went fishing. And, and Evita's fish was smaller than his fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> his fish was bigger. <laughs> Well, Peter, so good having you on the show this morning. Thank it. you so much for this book. And of course, uh, When in Doubt Say Darling is also <sighs> happening at the Fugard. At the Fugard for yes. the next three weeks, yes. Wonderful yes. Excellent. stuff. Excellent. All right, so the new book, The Echo of a Noise, is available now from all leading book retailers and online stores. And the latest run of uh, Peter's latest hit show called When in Doubt Say Darling is taking place at the Fugard Theatre until the 15th of December. And you can book those tickets by heading on over to thefugard.com. Thank you very much. We've got a competition as well, hey? Let's tell everyone at home about it. So, if you're a fan of the man, then we have some great, exciting news. You can stand a chance of winning a set of double tickets to a performance of Winning Doubt Say Darling. And all you need to do is answer this very simple question. And that is, name Peter the Ace's most iconic character that we've all loved. We've spoken about that character <laughs> a number of times here. And then by winning those tickets, you also stand a chance of winning a signed copy of the memoir, The Echo of a Noise. And uh, of course, this competition only applicable to Cape Town residents. Thank you so much. For Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness.